Hello everyone. In today's video, we shall be discussing about sample account. Now in SAP, sample account and data transfer rules are optional. We use sample account if uh, we work with uh, several company codes and want to set data centrally. Uh, for this, we will directly move on to our SAP Easy Access screen. So this is my SAP uh, remote screen. We'll go for backend configuration to our customization screen. SPRO, SAP Reference IMG. Here we have financial accounting. So under financial accounting, we have journal ledger accounting in this master data. So these are also a kind of GL accounts, but these are sample GL accounts that are used by several company codes. So under GL, we go to preparations and we have few additional activities. And under the additional activities, we have sample accounts. So under this, we have few uh, configuration in order to set up its uh, configurations. So the first step is maintain list of rule types. So here we will just define our rule. So let's define a rule for vendor. Vendor 1812 as 1812 is our company code. So after that, uh, we define data for transfer rules. So this is the main configuration. Now sample rule account, uh, we have given VEN1. Now all the fields uh, that we can see are basically the fields from our uh, our uh, FS00, that is when we create our master data or GL accounts. So let's assign few rules for our sample account that uh, we are making for vendor. So under this, we can uh, give transfer value, that is value transferred from sample accounts. Then a uh, few values that we do not want them to be changed. The values cannot be changed if already set. Then we have option that value can be changed if initial or it cannot be changed if initial. So uh, considering vendor as our uh, sample account, uh, let's, let's assign a tax category as Value cannot be changed if already set. Okay, then the currency. It will not be um, automatically. We don't want to post automatically. It's a vendor account. then it uh, will definitely be a reconciliation account. Then we don't want posting without tax to be allowed. And then we need to set sort key accordingly. What else we can give? So I think that's all. We can also assign a field status group. Okay. So let's. So all these field I have made tick on will be the value that cannot be changed if already set. And uh, right. So let's save them. So our rule for vendor is created now. The next is to assign company code to rule type. So our company code is 
so our company code is 1812 here we can see and I have assigned one rule I will just change my rule to when one so uh, uh, we can assign this uh, sample to as many company as required So, so this will bring the consensus and all the accounts would be under various company code would be same. After assigning the rule type to our company, let's create a sample account. So our sample account would be vendor and the chart of account, my chart of account is 1812 and I will enter sample account for vendor right now now the current uh, currency I can give I can give the tax category only input tax allowed then uh, the reconciliation account type I will assign that is my vendor then my field status group would be the group for my vendor account So let's keep it G001 only, general. And sort key I would give 001 for posting date and we'll save this. So now my sample account for vendor 1812 is created. Uh, so that's it we need to do. Now we'll just go back and see the impact. So we'll go to FS00. And uh, let's change our company. Let's Okay, my company is already set. So for creation of vendor account, uh, I will go, I will see the number range that is from 501. Let's create a new account. So 502. And now as you can see an additional sample account tab is open right here. It is because uh, it is because of the reason that we assigned our sample account to our company. So my vendor would be a balance sheet item. It will come under current liabilities and I can assign my sample account here. So I do have two sample accounts. So I'll assign vendor. And as I enter, as I enter, all the data would be changed. So I have not filled the data but automatically INR is coming. And uh, let's create a vendor. Vendor account. control data G001 
so odd key would be double zero one and if I try to save it will be saved so uh, this is how sample accounts uh, come into use thank you all for listening have a really good day